shrunken head recipe. Oh, there's an actual recipe here. If you guys want to know how to make a shrunken head. Executioner robe. Oh, dude. <laughs> this photograph apparently is haunted. I've never heard of a haunted photograph before. Are you ready? Ready for some ghost hunting? <laughs> Must be this. It's gotta be this. Nope, not this. <laughs> oh, cool. Nice. All right, Serial Killer Museum, here we come. We got stuff you can buy too? Cool. Well, you can buy like a serial killer t-shirt. Represent. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, Lomar. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Why does it say that? Thank you. So that's where I left my Teletubby head. <laughs> Forgot it over there. How's retired life? Retired <laughs> life? <laughs> On crack. <laughs> what? What is all this stuff? I don't know what that is. It's interesting though. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> oh, is this the, what is this? Oh, the, oh, he's got five legs, look at that. Clementine. Got a giant bear. <laughs> My name is here. I've got two headed cows up top and I've got a two headed baby pig in the case below. He did start robbing graves. He dug up bodies, cut off the heads, took out the skulls, boiled down the heads to make shrunken heads. Not to give anyone a recipe. If you did want a recipe, for if you look next to the TV mermaid, those will be real it's human beings. The woman doll recovered from the. <laughs> That's a that's a gap as well. It's essentially that's <laughs> essentially the same thing as the um, Fiji mermaid. So this corner is going to be my last. Someone wants to peek their head in. Feel free to. Voodoo altar. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> So, so everything we have back here, we found back here. The only thing we added was an LED candle. We obviously didn't think very hard about that one because uh, now said LED candles burned out and we have no way to change it. Mm. Oh, dude, shrunken heads. <laughs> Yo, that's creepy. Yeah. So did he say these ones were real? Yeah, they are. Okay. Man. Shrunken head recipe. Oh, there's an actual recipe here. If you guys want to know how to make a shrunken head, screen cap that and have at it. <laughs> so, um, whoa. So much interesting stuff. The last rites kit. Skull recovered from concentration camp. Oh wow. From the Sobibor extermination camp in Poland. This human skull was used as evidence in a trial for crimes against humanity in December 1945. Wow. That's intense. What's this one from? Odd fellow odd fellow's skull. Hand graved, engraved odd fellow's human skull. Those. Whoa. Executioner robe. Oh, dude. <laughs> Since the scene bears robe used in the ceremonies and hazing rituals for new initiatives, these robes were known to be used in one of the most sadistic hazing pranks, the guillotine. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, sick. That's from an embalming school. <laughs> Embalming and anesthesia equipment. It's embalming and anesthesia equipment. Yeah. Oh, look at this. There's a random tombstone here for some reason. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yo, this is a real skeleton. Is it? Is it? This skeleton was actually the great grandfather of Ryan Graveface. Whoa. Oh, wow. I've never touched a real one. I know. Can I touch it? I don't know. Should we? Okay, I've officially touched an actual skeleton. Yeah, someone's gonna touch our phones <laughs> in the future, and that's gonna be weird. It would be kind of cool if we ended up in, in a museum like this. I would yeah. like <laughs> Just like the three of us in a row. <laughs> yeah, with our cameras. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> They're gonna look at our cameras and be like, wow, that's some old school technology right look at there. Those shitty Canon, that doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> Where are these from? Oh, this is from a funeral home. Look at these old water pumps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is over here? Children's display coffin. This is intense, dude. Yeah. Bro, they got pinball machines. Ooh, bro. Bro, you gotta come over here. You guys are gonna like this. We got haunted figures and objects. Yo, Bro, I want that Ouija board so yeah. bad. Yes. Oh my god, this little baby doesn't look crazy. That one's a black magic one too. Mm. From 1960. Yeah, what if our spot is on? Mysterious doll We even got a friend in the corner. This photograph apparently is haunted. I've never heard of a haunted photograph before. Really? Yeah. This one here? Yeah. That's so cool. Can she zoom in on that and read that later? What is this? Apparently it has something to do with UFOs. Oh really? Yeah. Oh here she is again. Who is Little Miss Nobody? Oh they could never figure out who she was. Yeah. Oh wow. She was never identified. Yeah. Interesting. What's in there? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Do not push or lean on this wall, thank you. <laughs> what is all this? You got four drills? Yeah. Yo, this is his remains. Who? This clown. Oh, really? His remains, yeah. This person? Um, Durwood Adams Jr. So I, I think he was a, under the stage name of Durwood, died at the age of 92. Interesting. And this is his, like, stuff again. This is the stuff from, this is Buffalo Bill. He was a cannibal, wasn't he? If I'm not mistaken. Buffalo Bill. So I remember seeing a movie a long time ago about this person, she only had one foot and she was able to draw all these things. Pretty good for one, for a foot. <laughs> what is this? Crocodile boy, or alligator boy, sorry. Oh, I guess, oh he had like scales. Madame Zola. Who's Madame Zola? What are these? Patches or something? The pupil in magic. Oh, this was like all magic stuff, I think. That one is, anyway. Interesting. It's very interesting stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of like anomaly 
type people. Yeah, like it was the famous half boy. Like, check this out. Uh, here he is. He's a half a person. Ooh, like legit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And there's all sorts of this interesting people. He uh, he looks like um, what's his name, Ricky Bur Burrick or something like that. Yo, I know you. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's really famous on Twitter for being kind of of a strange human being. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, look at all this. This guy is born with uh, another leg. Oh wow. Yes. Interesting. I've never seen anybody with a third leg before. No, like that. Yeah. I mean, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> I did have a friend in high school, elementary school time. He did have a third testicle. That was confirmed. Actually? Yeah. Really? I've never seen it, but my, some of my female friends saw it. <laughs> For one reason or another. Because, you know, when you're curious, you're just going to be like, okay, let's see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, wouldn't it be fun to have one of these at home? Yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll go. You want to Yeah, I'll record it. Okay, ball. just turn it off. I had a ball that went literally straight down the middle. It literally went around and straight down the middle. <laughs> What does this say? I don't like being touched. Do not touch. <laughs> oh my God. Don't touch him. He doesn't like being touched. Whoa. Oh my God, that looks like someone I went to school with. This guy? Yeah. <laughs> what was his name? Patrick. Oh, not Joseph? No, not Joseph. <laughs> uh, this I can't show. <laughs> If we receive instruction to make these tapes, to do these sessions, Oh, that's crazy. I never even knew, I never knew he painted so much. Yeah. So he painted these while he was in jail? Yeah. Letters. So this hair was actually on Ed Gein's key ring. That's so creepy. <clears throat> Whoa. Yeah, Ed Gein was uh, one interesting character. That's where they actually got the story from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And hey, like, look how good it is. They would have just stuck with roads like this. So, what did everybody think of the museum? It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. I liked it. It was a little weird being like 
face to face with yeah. something real like that, you know? It was a little claustrophobic in there too. Yeah, especially not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I felt like they, they let too many people in there at once. Yeah. It's like if you just like let people finish and then wait until people come out and then just let people in so they can at least like So I'm going on a little bit of a rant right now, but I hate it when you're in this small enclosed room and you're literally standing in the middle of the room and everybody's like looking at an individual thing and I'm like, where do I go? Like, yeah. <laughs> like what do I look Honestly, at first? Yeah. But yeah, it was pretty cool though. I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd recommend it. I personally like the military museum better though. Yeah, it's Web big. military museum. Cool place. Oh, yeah. Boxer Shepherd Chow Chow. Oh, He's nice like a total mess. Oh, beautiful man. Yeah, thank you. Made a friend. Oh, <laughs> sweetheart. He's like six, they, they say, you know, he's a rescue, so oh. you never know. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Aww. He's like, I'm walking around getting all the pets. Yeah. So smiling. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, <laughs> you gotta get my butt touched I with know. the basket. Right. Aww. Good boy, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one. See ya. Okay. Now, this is a cool view. Yeah. The river on one side, yeah. the old buildings on the other. Do they have a cart or like a trolley that would come through here? Uh, yeah, I think Holy so. Use. What I could really use is a coffee. So, that's where, what the mission is right now. Is coffee. Like coffee. Caffeine. Caffeine. I think we could all probably use some caffeine right about now. <laughs> I say we get some... <laughs> there we go. There. Uh, we are ready? Ready, ready for some ghost hunting? <laughs> yeah, so I kind of say we should get these for Joe something. Yeah. Just kinda, make sure we don't get hurt. You know? Make sure we don't yep. get our heads. Or, Safety uh, first, getting, right? Uh, abandoned houses. We're the Savannah Ghost Hunters. <laughs> We're allowed in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, how do the lights work on here? Oh, oh it's a little. Well, a other, switch. I think the batteries are dead. This one's. Coffee. 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 Coffee! <laughs> Coffee! <laughs> ah, we had our coffee. Someone's still having a coffee. And now, it's your second one? <laughs> now we walk through the haunted tunnel of Christmas. Dun dun dun! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're dead heading to the historic, other historic area because everywhere is historic here. <laughs> it's just non stop historic all day historic, long. Everything historic, truck. yeah. Historic truck over here, historic Ford Fusion. yeah. Historic porta potty. potty, that thing is 200 years old. Got a historic, historic crane. Historic rapper thing. Historic Everything. <laughs> Historic me. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I've been walking all day. I mean, we have. We have been walking all day. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a little extra effort. I know. Right? We've got the historic <laughs> dumpster area back here. <laughs> Everything's historic. We've got a historic... Historic branch, huh? Who just ran behind that? I swear. Somebody ran behind that? I swear if it's Joe. Yeah, I knew I saw oh. you. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was gonna say, what the hell are you talking about? Deep stairs. Right? Holy shit. I gotta walk on an angle. Nobody fall. It's a long way down. <laughs> Oh, I almost tripped. <laughs> you don't want to trip on those. <laughs> oh, I found another. Oh my god, look at him go! Go, go, go! <laughs> oh my god. So, we're in the square. I think we're going to walk that way. And we can find some shit. Alright, let's go find the dog. <laughs> there will be many more. I can assure you there will be many more. Well, we made it uh, somewhere. We we're actually walking through, and I spotted the uh, the Marshall House. This place is actually supposed to be notoriously haunted. It used to actually be a hospital back in the day. 
this whole building? Yeah, during one of the wars. I can't remember if it was the Civil War or the, uh, I think it was the Revolution. Um, it was basically a, a military hospital for a, for a period of time, yeah. It's pretty cool. And this is like a hotel now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could actually rent a room. It's very expensive though. It's like 400 Canadian a night, I think. Something like okay. that. Like three to 400, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would have suggested it, but we too poor. <laughs> so we took an Airbnb instead and we decided to go on the boat. Yeah, but maybe one day. One day, one day. But we got lots of cool uh, haunted adventures anyways that we've been filming, so yeah. <laughs> Because otherwise I knew we would like sacrifice a whole night. We kind of just wanted these two days just to chill. Yeah. But, yeah. So let's walk, I think, that way or that way. That way. I gotta check my phone. So we got a uh, ghost hunting tour coming right through. And they have these cool hearse things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> I love how the same guy driving is the guy talking too. He's yeah. just got the microphone cruising <laughs> along. He's just having fun. Yeah, man. man. Living his best life, yeah. Well, telling people about ghosts, a hearse. yeah. yeah honestly, we should buy one. We'll just buy <laughs> that would, that's actually a cool idea. Yeah. Just convert it into like a mini home, a couple yeah. of beds in there. Honestly, Hell honestly, yeah, yeah why not? right, right in the back. Yeah. That'd be yeah, genius, something. yeah. So, we made it back to the uh, Owens Thomas house, which is pretty cool. Got a little yes. square here. There is a square that's haunted somewhere. I'm gonna see if we can There's find like 70 it. squares we've seen. Oh, they're like, everywhere. Every few blocks. It, you know? yeah. yeah. So you guys might remember this during the summer. I actually stayed here overnight. Did a little bit of an investigation. Um, the lady is still up there. She's still up in the window. You see her? Everybody wave. Let's see if she waves back. <laughs> oh God, that's scary. right. So there was a story about this place. She's supposed to be the. Um, the she was waiting for her lover and basically he left and never came back and she ended up jumping somewhere like in the back area okay. yeah this used to be like a boarding house kind of thing back in the day so yeah there's lots of weird stories another ghost who used to leave pennies for people um and another person there was actually these two really nice people from alabama that i met and uh, they were telling me that they had actually found a penny on like the window frame. That was before they even knew the story. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So he just kind of noticed it and he's like, what the hell is this? And he just, he didn't really make much of it. But he's like, yeah, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was a, uh, who was it? I think somebody else, somebody really famous stayed here actually. I think it was like Miley Cyrus or something. Oh really? Yeah. And she had like a really crazy ghost experience too, which I can't remember off the top of my head, but. Or something so you stayed here. I stayed here. here. Uh, definitely some sounds, some interesting stuff on the spirit box. Nothing like super crazy that I remember, um, but it was a couple of things. It's a, it's a very interesting place. Really, really interesting decorated too on the inside. It's also a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So if anybody's hungry. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit dark right now, but we've made it to the Kehoe house. I don't really know the story. It is an inn that you can stay at. Um, supposed to be haunted. And then there is the Davenport house, which I went to a little while ago. That's the one with the freestanding staircase. Oh, okay. It's really, really nice in there. Yeah, very cool. Very interesting stories, too. Yeah? Yeah. So apparently there was a... Um, the wife and husband. The husband ended up dying, and... Um, I think the a woman at the time could not own a slave by herself or something like that. I don't remember the exact like part to that part of the story, but they ended up uh, taking her main slave away and she ended up like buying her back or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she actually ended up going into business with her. They turned the house into a boarding house oh, wow. or it was a boarding house and she just wanted her to help her run it and be like her business partner sort of yeah. sort of thing. So it's kind of a cool story how she became like best friends with the, uh, the slave, yeah. right? Which it's kind of crazy that there were slaves back then. I can't imagine owning a person is just yeah. ridiculously it's stupid, yeah. but uh, is what it is, I guess. Look at this place though. Yeah. Let's see, can we get a peek inside? <laughs> I'm just gonna sneak in. <laughs> We're glad you're here. Look at these doors though. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually go inside, so. 
Oh dang, it's closed. We're too late, guys. We're too late. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Damn. Um, just grab the gun out of my bag and I'll just shoot oh. the fuck. Okay, no, cool. <laughs> but yeah, the Colonial Cemetery. I mean, I've been here already, but it's cool, check, right? You can check it on the day. You can just so. from here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like a mini version of uh, Bonaventure. Yeah, it's it's just cool to me how it's like literally right in the middle of the city, though. Yeah. Like that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it's got like that aesthetic to it. So, all right. Hello, horsey. How you living? <laughs> So cool. He even knows like the, the lights too. When you go. He literally just took the green light like the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he knows, man. Way. He's a pro at this by now. He does it every day. <laughs> Guys, I think we can go in. Just say I forgot. You forgot something. I didn't forget anything. I just want to go in and take a damn look. What's wrong with that? <laughs> hey, uh, can I scale the building? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Holy crap! Uh, no. <laughs> All right, guys. So I finally got to see the inside of the uh, the cathedral or basilica. It's beautiful in there. I know they were hurrying us out. A musical god. Okay, it wasn't that crazy. Relax. <laughs> All right, let's head towards uh, the murder house. Apparently, uh, there's a couple other things we can see. I want to see the mansion on Forsyth. Oh, that that spot's cool too. It's supposed to be really haunted. All right, let's go. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. 